Hello, I'm Elizabeth Chong, and you probably know me because I seem to be always cooking Chinese food for people in Australia, and I love doing it. And dim sum is just a, an old-fashioned dialect of dim sum. And dim sum, you know, means going out to have little tiny, delicious, delectable little foods to go with tea. But there's one particular item in there called siu mai, and that's like a little flower pot shaped one. It was my father who decided he would commercialise this little siu mai and make it into a bigger one for the Australian takeaway scene, and I'm very proud of it. So we have the perhaps the Chinese Australian dim sum now, a bit like me, a Chinese Australian. And all we have now is uh, pork. And if it's a little bit fatty, all the better for this because it's got to stick to the pastry. And I just give it a little bit of a bash with my chopper. That's pretty normal sound in every Chinese kitchen. And I'm going to use this beautiful cabbage. Cabbage is a beautiful vegetable. I think it's a little bit underrated. People think it's it's very humble, but it has a very lovely flavour. Well, I'll just use a little bit of the, the softer leaves for this. So just finely shredded. So the cabbage goes in now. We have some chopped spring onions. And we'll just put in a couple of mushrooms. Two or three, whatever you fancy. Soak for about half an hour. Rinsed. And once again with the trusty chopper. Finely minced. And I'm going to just do a little bit of fresh ginger. And now we're just going to season it, so that's fairly simple now. This is a little bit of salt, and maybe one teaspoon of sugar. Now a little bit of soy sauce, light soy sauce here. And I'm rather partial to sesame oil. And corn flour, corn flour or potato starch. I put in two teaspoons there also. And most importantly for dim sums is pepper and the Chinese cuisine likes white pepper. I love the flavour of white pepper. Mix it all through well. You pick it up and you throw it against the side of your bowl. It's almost like a, a release of frustration if you, you can do that several times and this expels the air. And I think potters know what I'm talking about. There's the mixture. I think we're just about ready to have that with a nice cup of tea.